let's talk about the face of the earth what is up and down what is high and what's down and how the enemy wants to confuse our senses our eyes so that we wouldn't even believe our eyes and senses now Deuteronomy 14 2 for you are holy people to Yahweh your God and Yahweh has chosen you to be a people for his own possession above all peoples who are on the face of the earth where is the face of the earth on the globe I mean I have a face and I have my my um, head is like a a globe but I have a face my face is not here my face is not here not on top not on not at the bottom not behind and so if there is a face on the globe which one is it is it Africa is it America I guess it's America right all right so give me a break this is this is nonsense but on a flat surface if the earth is flat and it is flat there's no question about it then that that's the face of the earth right and there are a couple of more verses I just listed two more Deuteronomy 6 15 for Yahweh your God among you is the jealous God lest you anger of Yahweh your God be kindled against you and he destroy you from off the face of the earth or for you are a holy people to Yahweh your God Yahweh your God has chosen you to be people for his own possession above all peoples who are on the face of the earth again and again you can read about the face of the earth okay now to talk about some empirical evidence let's look at ships um, when in school I heard that when ships sail over the horizon that proved for curvature well at that time we didn't have digital cameras with high zoom uh, but now we do and so this is disproven big time let's look at the evidence because well you can't feed a lie to people who have these gadgets okay <clears throat> so you can clearly see this zoomed in image by um, by a guy uh, having a Nikon P9 zero zero this is zoomed in can see this the boat sailing and then he zooms out he zooms out more and then wow it disappeared well as you can see this is just a visual illusion it does not disappear but if you look at perspective and study perspective there is the vanishing point you look at something you look at trails you look at trees in the forest in the in a row you look at the road uh at the horizon it will it will vanish that's the vanishing point it will become smaller and then vanish away it didn't vanish it just simply you can't see it because we have limits what we can see there is another uh video that shows uh that shows uh, a sheep beyond the horizon let's look at that shortly as well So, there we go. This is a this is a ship zoomed in. And now zoomed out. It vanishes away. There's no curvature. You could just can't see it, and that's it. All right. This is empirical evidence. Alright, so what is up and what is down? Revelation 21. I saw an angel coming down out of heaven, having the key of the abyss and great chain in his hand. Coming down out of heaven? Okay, so you are in Africa, then uh, he was coming down from here. But if you are in Europe, then he was coming down from here. Or if you are in America somewhere here, then it was coming from the side. Give me a break. I mean, this this cannot be. You can't be serious that you believe this. You can't be serious. It's not a figurative speech. Um, and I'm going to uh, add the link to this article so that you can read everything. 
Um, I have a, an article linking from this about figurative speech and I um, I think it's a great read uh, to establish what is figurative speech and what isn't. Okay, John 8, 23. He said to them, You are from beneath, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. So what is beneath and what is from above? Is from above? Which way? I mean, you can't believe this stuff that the earth is a globe. It just makes no sense. Isaiah 55, 89. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, and your ways are not my ways, says Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So if we have these thoughts in, Afri in Africa, then the um, heavens are here higher that way. But if we are in Europe, then it's higher that way. I mean, that's a joke. But if you look at how on the flat earth it looks like, then it makes sense because above is, is always above and beneath is always beneath. From his perspective, God's perspective, the earth is always below and from our perspective, he's always above. When Yahushua was on the earth, he was below, walking on the earth that was below. And so from his perspective, he said, you are from below, from here, but he is from above. So, <clears throat> um, so that's pretty much about it. Study it and um, learn the truth because they are going to deceive many, many nations and peoples with this.